If you're looking for a free high quality photo editor and don't want to pay for an expensive program like Photoshop, you have many choices. Whether you're looking for something basic to enhance your photos or require advanced features, there's a free photo editor for you. Coming up, I'll show you the top five photo editing software for your computer that you can use for free. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five from the makers of Photoshop is Adobe Photoshop Express. This free version has a low learning curve and is great for those of you wanting an easy and quick solution to edit your photos quickly. As you would expect for free, it's not as feature packed as the premium Photoshop, but you will find a decent amount of tools, including effects, themes, and filters to enhance your images. When editing a photo, you'll find tools along the left to change the look, crop, make corrections, there's a spot heel and red eye tool, and you can change the border. Before making any changes, here at the top, clicking on auto enhance does a great job of automatically adjusting several values, including exposure, temperature, and contrast. After making any changes, you can view your original image by selecting the icon to the right of auto enhance. If you have a Windows computer, Adobe Photoshop Express is available from the Microsoft Store. At this time, it's not available for Mac OS and Linux. In addition, they also have mobile apps for both Android and iOS. Coming in at number four, for those of you looking for more advanced features than Photoshop Express, it's Photoscape X. It includes tons of features to enhance your images. In addition, it includes a screenshot tool. It allows you to create GIFs and collages and includes support for raw images. To transform your photos, there's a large set of tools to add filters and effects. Their cutout tool lets you easily remove the background from an image, and there's several batch options for working with multiple images at a time. When you launch Photoscape, it shows you most of the tools that you can use along with tutorials. I'll go down the list and select borders. Clicking on the image to the right for borders will open a video tutorial in your browser showing you how to use that feature. When editing your photo, you'll find all the tools in the upper right. Just like the other programs that I'll show you, it's just a matter of trying out the different tools to make everything perfect. Photoscape X is available for Windows 10 and 11 from the Microsoft Store. They also have a paid version called Photoscape X Pro for Windows with extra features for around $40. For most people, the free version will be all that they need. And for Mac OS, Photoscape X is available from the Mac App Store. In at number three is Krita. This free and open source program has all the tools necessary to edit your photos and also includes tools for digital painting and animation. For advanced users, it includes more than 100 professionally made brushes built in. Their support for working with layers includes vector templates from their library you can use in your projects. And there are tools for masking, special effects, filters, and a whole lot more. With the program open, you'll find most of the tools you'll be working with along the left. On the right is the advanced color selector, along with the ability to quickly add new layers. Pressing the tab key on your keyboard enlarges your image, getting rid of these sidebars, giving you more space to work with. It does have a high learning curve, and for beginners, some will find it overwhelming with a large number of tools and features available. Thankfully, they've included a manual on their site that will teach you how to use it. Krita is available from their website for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Before we get to our top two, here are some bonus picks that just might be worth your time to check out. Photopea is a browser-based web app we've talked about numerous times on this channel. It would have definitely made our top five if it had installable software and not online only. It has a ton of features that closely resembles Photoshop, including the ability to save your project as a PSD file. Pixlr is another site with web apps that's a favorite for many people. Their two primary offerings are Pixlr X and Pixlr E. Pixlr X has around a dozen tools and is designed for basic edits. And Pixlr E includes around two dozen tools and is geared for more advanced users. The well-known graphic design platform Canva has a free online photo editor for creating marketing materials and social media posts. Photor is another web app that's great for people needing something basic to touch up a photo with a decent number of tools. And our final bonus pick is Affinity Photo. It's not free, but might be worth it for those of you that hate subscribing to services like Photoshop. It's a high quality photo editor that can do almost anything Photoshop can for a one-time fee. 
Affinity Photo is available to download on Windows and Mac OS. It's also available for the iPad. All come with a 30-day trial to try it out. Back to the countdown and the runner-up spot. Coming in at number two is Paint.net. This oldie but goodie was first released in 2004 as a more powerful alternative to Microsoft Paint. It's lightweight and includes a ton of features. It supports working with layers. There are special effects to change the look of your image. And there are plugins created by the community to improve the functionality of Paint.net. It's improved quite a bit over the years and better late than never now has a dark theme. Most of the tools you would need are located in the toolbar on the left, in the menu bar at the top, where you'll find additional tools, including effects. One of my favorites is oil painting, which can be found by going to artistic and selecting oil painting. If you ever need help using it, their forum is a great place to get answers to your questions. Paint.net is only available for Windows. You can get it for free directly from the developer's website with the option to donate. Another option if you want to support the developer is to buy it from the Microsoft Store for a one-time fee. In the top spot, coming in at number one, GIMP is the absolute best image and photo editing software that you can get for free. This open source program was initially released in 1996 and is packed with tools and features often found in expensive software. It includes layer management support, has a large number of tools, advanced filters and effects, color adjustments, transformations, and is compatible with most of the popular image formats, including Photoshop PSD files. GIMP's layout has been described by many people as being clunky, especially from those that have been longtime users of Photoshop. There's a large set of tools located in the toolbox on the left. Over on the right is where you can find the layers and brushes. I personally prefer the floating windows layout. If you don't and you want a more traditional one window layout, in the menu bar, select windows, and tick the box next to single window mode. Of the more than 400 videos released on our channel, GIMP has been the go-to image editor for a majority of our thumbnails. If you need help using it, they have tutorials on their site. We've also done a couple of beginner's guides that people say have been helpful to them when getting started. Links to those will be in the description of this video. GIMP is available on all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Let us know in the comments which free photo editor is your favorite. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Gumbo.